violence against black men and women. When determining their fitness for office. The Northam example is particularly egregious, and I hope that most people wouldn't have something like that in their pasts. But in this climate we're in, it, it kind of feels like it doesn't have to be something that much, something that serious, that egregious, to get uh, virtually the same type of reaction. Just think about someone's life and how it's chronicled, whether it's in yearbooks, on social media. Dr. David McLennan with Meredith College in Raleigh says there are many examples of where actions have sidelined politicians, such as former presidential candidate John Edwards. His was more social, you know, he had an affair, lied about it. Probably could never come back politically from that. But also cases where they didn't, but have created an asterisk next to the person's name. My family and my name have been totally and permanently destroyed. Political observers say it would take a conscious decision by individuals to decide if we want a zero tolerance policy in our country or one where case by case it's weighed individually. The best way to move forward is each and every one of us, when we get a piece of information, we need to ask ourselves, what does this mean right now? In Governor Northam's case, he says that he needs more time to determine his political future. Loretta Benitez, Spectrum News.